Wow. Um, hey y'all. Hey big head. <laughs> hey stink. Um, I know it's been a hot minute. I've been very um preoccupied with life <laughs> in my optimism era. But um I wanted to get back on my YouTube channel and start making content again. Um, I've been very deep in TikTok. So if you guys want to follow more closely my day to day, I would go to TikTok. Still stay here though. Don't don't go nowhere. But also go to TikTok um, because I post almost daily on there, like a vlog, daily vlogs on there. Um, I literally have not posted on YouTube since like last, I think like two, like August or September ago. So I don't even know. It's been a hot minute. Please let me know, like comment, comment down below what kind of content you guys want to see. I have my last semester of nursing school coming up, which is insane because I remember posting a lot of like freshman year content, but I am graduating, which is literally like four months from now. And so when the semester starts, I'm gonna have nine weeks of lecture and then six weeks of my preceptorship where I follow a nurse's schedule. It'll be like a full-time nurse's schedule. But hopefully this semester, I'll be able to whip out some vlogs on YouTube. Um, and I also kind of want to get more bookish because I used to read a lot as a kid. Like this isn't a new thing for me. It's kind of a newfound thing, like a rediscovery, if you will, of reading. So I want to have some more book content on here and just join the black booktuber community and that's like part of the video today a huge chunk of the video besides like a life update i had my endometriosis laparoscopy in december but i also got it excised and i have like a whole surgery vlog that i still have to edit and post it's legitimately been like six months but better late than never so i gotta get that out along with other things but for today i just want to do a life update and a little bookish content i just left the library so i'm going to give you guys a quick library haul i am not your perfect mexican daughter by erica l sanchez i recommend looking up these synopsis synopses synopsis summaries on goodreads i'll see if i can like put a little screenshot for y'all but if not i would definitely go check out these books they have pretty high ratings on goodreads so i got that then i got vinyl moon i have never heard of this book but the cover if there's a black girl on the cover immediately in the car immediately in my hand swiping the library card swiping my debit card i don't care what has to happen the corn roll baby she's eating down the edges slick back yeah basically it's about a young black girl who fought who is trying to heal from a past relationship i can't relate i'm 22 and haven't been in a single relationship ever in my life oh, but anyway anyway um i just think it's amazing because she is healing from a past relationship and she finds healing and reading the writing of the famous black authors and writers and poets like Toni Morrison, James Baldwin, and that kind of stuff. And I was really interested in this book. It's a pretty short novel. It's 164 pages, so quick read. Next, I got A Song Below Water. Halle Bailey and the chokehold that she has on me. This is the consequences of Halle Bailey in the live action Little Mermaid. The mermaid aesthetic in the mermaid fantasy world has had a chokehold, a chokehold on me since May. Since May. And I just, I just eat it. I gobble it up every single time, like every single time. So this is basically another mermaid story, black mermaid story. So yeah. Recently just went to a used bookstore and bought some books so i'll show you that as well and combine this little haul um very cute of me i know but i color coded my books into like this rainbow and it's just so pleasing to look at the major one being um barack's autobiography this retails for literally 45 dollars. i'm not even kidding right now and i got it for 10 dollars. and this was a no-brainer like i had to get this as you can see i have becoming and i loved becoming so i had to i had to see what bay was talking about so um then i got the immortal life of henrietta Lacks. um everyone in healthcare should read this book and i got it for 850 i think it usually retails for about 18 19 20 dollars i got grown by tiffany d jackson i read monday's not coming like two months ago <laughs> tore me up um left me traumatized in the best way possible so naturally had to get another book by this author she is just amazing i got gilded ones I just love this cover so much and I've been eating up some fantasy novels so I had to get this one. After I'm done I'll get the next novel which is that one. Oh yeah and this was $6.50 and this one was $9.50 retails at $19. Last book in this haul is Piecing Me Together by Renee Watson. 
these are the books that I'm hoping to read between August and September, so I have them down here. Last thing I want to cover is my monthly wrap-up. I have the books I read for the month of July on my iPad so I can remember. I read eight books this month. It's still this month. It's July 31st. This was the best reading month I've had probably since my prepubescent years <laughs> when I actually had time. I read What the Fireflies Knew. What the Fireflies Knew was the first book I've ever read on Libby, well through Libby on my phone using the Kindle app. That was a handful. This is just a word of advice. If you're thinking about getting a Kindle, try downloading the Kindle app first because the Kindle app is free and then get the Libby app, link your library card and then just borrow books through Libby from your library and they'll download into the Kindle app and you can just read your books electronically as if you have a Kindle. If you have like an iPad, mine is pretty huge, so it's not like Kindle size, but I usually, I have my Kindle app on my phone, so it's like pocket size, and I just read on there. And honestly, I'm sure when you have a Kindle, there's like perks such as Kindle Unlimited or whatever, but you still have to pay for a Kindle subscription. Anyway, what I'm trying to say is that it's kind of like a free version of a Kindle by using the Kindle app through Libby. I read What the Fireflies Knew through that. Basically, this book just showed like the lows, the highs, the in-betweens of black girlhood. It's told from the perspective of an 11 year old black girl. It's really interesting reading this book as a person double the age of the character. I'm 22, she's 11, but like honestly, kids have such an interesting like innocent perspective on the world. It's just very rewarding to look into a perspective like that like once in a while just to switch it up. And it is literary fiction and so it had themes in there that I feel like if you did read read this book as a younger reader it would kind of go over your head. So like I do still think that reading books that are told from a younger child's perspective as an older reader is honestly very rewarding. She gave me very much like Junie B. Jones vibes but with like less sass, more compassion. She just really cared about the people around her. But you know how like Whenever we used to read Junie B. Jones books as a kid, like just the expressions and you could just tell it was a child narrating. And this character like does this really cute thing. Like this isn't really a spoiler. It's just like a quirk, a quirk that the character does. She counts things, especially when she's like trying to calm down or like go to sleep or she's bored, she just counts things. And one example, she's like counting all the things in her head that don't make sense. She's like, I stopped at 42. She was waiting for this like awkward moment to pass with her and her grandpa when he was like talking to her or something. And she was like, I had nothing to count. So I just like peeled my nails. And she's like, I st at nail seven, he said something, something. And it was just like, it's just a, quirk, a, a cute little quirky thing that she did like all the time in the book. But I love when characters have like such interesting, like cute little mannerisms and characteristics and stuff. Like it really just helps like personify them and make them feel more real. But basically it was a cute little coming of age story. Um, I rated it 3.8 out of five stars. Um, I wish there was more explanation. In some parts, I feel like some parts were just kind of left like unsaid or whatever but i thought it was a really cute book i also loved how relatable it was as a black woman reading this book i'm like oh my gosh i used to hear this all the time as a little black girl like just like the expressions that family says and what you hear from other people it was just like very sweet very relatable i have my actual like review right here if you're wondering but next i read take my hand by dolan perkins valdez her last name is literally covered by the target sale sticker but this book was amazing like heartbreaking earth shattering the fact that it's based on true events that happened to black women in the united states not that long ago like literally this story was set in montgomery alabama during 1973 like like this was not that long ago yes it was a difficult read but it's real life so it's like you got to push through it it happened babe like you know basically she's just shocked to find out that her patients are 11 and 13 years old. You know, due to the over-sexualization of, of black girls and the government's need to control women's bodies, specifically black women's bodies, they feel that like they can control their right to motherhood, basically. Just for perspective, like these things happen during my grandma's time period, like during one of my aunt's time periods. Like it was not that long ago. It's a must read for everyone, especially people who are in the healthcare field. The story is just a glimpse into how racism has and still plays a role in ethics, morals, implicit biases that health care workers project onto black patients. Another example is how a lot of people in healthcare like to write off black patients as being non-compliant or defiant or whatever without gaining empathy as to why that may be the case and not communicating better. 
I feel like stories like this can just really help heal the healthcare divide with the Black community. Next book I read was Sing Unburied Sing by Jasmine Ward. I rated this four out of five stars. It's another literary fiction. It had a lot of symbolism. So I usually don't like books with a lot of symbolism, which is why I gave it four stars and not five stars. But it has such a beautiful use of language and there's just so many layers. It's very symbolic. There's themes of responsibility and injustice. I fell in love with the character Jojo. Leone, insufferable. Moving on. Next, I read Black Candle Woman. The cover had me putting way more trust in this book than what was there. Like, it was a slow read for me. It just didn't keep me interested much. I feel like the characters just kept repeating themselves every other chapter. It was very monotonous. Like, I just thought it was going to be so much better than what it was. My expectations were a little too high. I rated this book a straight three out of five stars. It wasn't absolutely terrible, but I was just like, okay, like, and then what? And then what happened? I'm fine with how it ended, but ugh. it was just I like. I also read Body and Soul Food. It was a cute little mystery book. It was like it was literally like this big. I don't have it anymore because I traded it in at the used bookstore for another book. Um, because I did not absolutely love it. I also rated this book a straight three out of five stars. Wasn't terrible, but it was a mystery like thriller, but it was just I was like the ending I was like okay like for real like it was very anticlimactic it didn't really have a plot twist and I just kind of got it as mindless entertainment because I was going on a plane and it was a cute little book so I was like okay black people on the cover they owned a they basically own a soul food restaurant slash bookstore I was like I love that idea and honestly the third star came from just that idea but um it was kind of cheesy like it was kind of cheesy, but it was also kind of cute. Um, I just felt like some parts were predictable. And me personally, when I'm reading a thriller or a mystery novel, I want the plot twist to twist so much where my I get whiplash from the twist. And I'm like screaming, throwing up profusely, diarrhea. Like I, I don't want to subtle like, oh yeah, yeah. And then it, yeah. And then it was someone who expected. I'm like, then I read Red at the Bone by Jacqueline Woodson. I rated this book literally 2.8 out of five stars um again i had high expectations for this book because everyone was re everyone was recommending it like left and right it has i think it has like 3.5 stars on goodreads i can't remember it's definitely higher than what i rated it so i was like okay again it was literary fiction and so it had some good themes in there it had some good lines in there like i was like okay she ate with that but then there were some really odd like really weird parts like i don't want to spoil it but i was just like girl what like it was a very quick read though so it did kind of keep me like intrigued because i was like girl what it took me five hours to read this book mind you it was a short book it was like 209 pages maybe but i did like the timeline i liked how the characters and the storyline was built but i did not like it as much as i thought i would and i read soul of the deep um which is another black mermaid book it's a duology so the first book is called skin of the sea and skin of the sea is what really started like my black mermaid obsession during the time of live action little mermaid Halle bailey like i found this book right around the time that movie came out and the the first book was so good like it, i rated the first book five stars the second one is soul of the deep I rated this 4.5 out of 5, so it's a little less than the first one, but still also really good. This duology got me kickstarted into fantasy because I didn't really think I would be a fantasy girly, but girl, I ate this duology up. If you're a fantasy girl, go ahead and go ahead and pick them up for me. Go ahead and just get them. I just love the concept of her duology. Love how we're able to see black women just being powerful, like magical, being beautiful, just goddesses and just doing their thing, being powerful. It had lots of African origins, which I loved. It did touch on enslavement a bit, which trigger warning for that. It's very like spiritual, lots of god gods, goddesses, legendary creatures and it was just a great fantasy duology um love that lastly i read a memoir i read when breath becomes air but it's basically about a 36 year old neurosurgeon who gets diagnosed with stage four lung cancer mind you this is a memoir it's a true story he comes upon this diagnosis after like spending so much time training to be a neurosurgeon like going to med school re residency like all that stuff there's just so much wisdom about life and death in this book he like provokes a lot of thought about like what 
makes life actually worth living and what happens when you're like forced to live in, your, in the present you know your time is coming but like how you're going to spend that time is the real question this is another great read if you're a healthcare worker um because in healthcare we're very like future oriented like okay when is this person getting discharged what's their prognosis like we're very future oriented and he has he's like forced to take the perspective of a patient he's forced to be very present oriented because every second counts basically that is basically my monthly wrap up for july so we're gonna see how many books i'm able to read in august but i start i have orientation august 25th which is a friday i honestly don't truly start classes until the first week of september which is like really good but classes will be restarting it will be towards the end of the month but we're just gonna see i hope you guys enjoyed this video again if there's any content that you would like to see comment that down below and i will see you guys in the next video